install a cobble apron in front of this three car garage. So as you can see, we're in the middle of a pretty big driveway renovation. Uh, we're going to be putting in the cobble aprons in front of this three car garage. Uh, a couple of things uh, that you want to remember before you go ahead and put your aprons in uh, is if you ever have plans to do nightscaping or running uh, irrigation or electrical lines, just want to make sure that you run some Schedule 40, so PVC piping. Uh, we already ran the wires through it, but just, just to make sure you don't have to pull your cobbles up and, and destroy those uh, just to get a line through. It's a lot easier if you have the piping already set in place. This can go right under your base. Uh, and as you can see, we have a uh, cement footing that uh, we've poured. We've actually rebarred this into the existing uh, foundation. That way, that's going to uh, reduce any settling that may occur. It's going to give it a really solid foundation. So what we're doing is, on top of the concrete uh, foundation, we're actually laying our crushed bank. And as you can see, we're screeding it out. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to continue screeding this out to the correct level, and we'll show you the process. the first thing we wanted to do is figure out our cobbles up against the existing garage and how it works around uh, the brick butting out here and the trim. A lot of the times you'll have a garage floor slab that comes out and meets the exterior. In this case it doesn't and a normal jumbo cobble is too wide for us to fit in that gap and some of the other options were too small. So we went ahead and cut these which works to our advantage because now we get a nice clean connection between the concrete and the cobble. And we're going to do this first along each of the three bays of the garage, setting them in the stone dust, pounding them down as we go, and then we'll be set to run our pattern, which will be a running bond. So we're going to continue moving down uh, each of these bays, and uh, then we'll start setting up our pattern. So as you can see, we're making some good progress uh, with our cobble apron. We've gone ahead and we've measured uh, where we want the end of our apron to be, and we've installed our soldier course, uh, which is an upright cobble, and uh, making, making sure we had the right slope too. We have about a 2.3% slope on this apron, just to make sure uh, no water is going back into the garage. Uh, so what we uh, like to do to maintain that slope throughout the entire apron is from the top of the apron, basically just place a screed bar uh, across down to our uh, soldier course as long as we're maintaining uh, a somewhat equal distance of the cobbles underneath this bar uh, that's going to maintain our 2.3 percent slope. Uh, so that way it doesn't get wavy and everything is just completely even by the end and it gives it a nice clean look. So we're going to continue uh, to lay these cobbles and catch up with you later on. So as you can see, we are almost done laying our pattern. We only have this little section left. Next, what we're going to do is we've already swept some stone dust into the cracks. Next is polymeric.
so as you saw, we swept the poly in, the polymeric sand in, and then uh, we blew it off the tops of the cobbles. And then all you have to do after that is just water it in. Um, now, all we need to do is wait for the driveway to be paved, and then we're going to go back over the top of this with a finer grit polymeric so we can get the, uh, the finished color in between on the uh, joints. Then after that, we'll be all set. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's video blog on uh, how to install a cobble apron. If you have any comments or uh, questions, feel free to leave it on our blog or uh, go to our YouTube page and check out our page. And uh, for all of us here at the Garden Continuum, thanks for watching.